Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to create speech bubbles for your e-learning projects. And the benefit of this is that if you create speech bubbles in Adobe Illustrator, you can change the stroke or brush style to match your aesthetic of your e-learning. So it could be a handwritten bubble to a sleek modern bubble with a darker and um, heavier stroke size. So the first thing that we're going to want to do in Illustrator is go to File, New, and set up a new project. Ours is going to be for the web, so I'll just select that. Now the second piece of this is you want to modify your layer to identify which speech bubble it is. So I'll just call mine Rectangle Speech. This first way we're going to select our rectangle shape and draw out with it until we get it about to the size that we want it and you can go back and adjust this at any time. We'll adjust our stroke size to about 20, um, maybe a little bit less. And then we are going to use the pen tool for this first one. So you'll want to select the pen tool and the, the tool that we want under pen tools is add anchor point tool. So we'll select, um, we'll add in three different anchor points evenly spaced. So you can just eye that up or you can get it spaced evenly. Um, the, and then the next piece that we want to do is use this direct selection tool up here, this um, white arrow, and we want to pull down on the center anchor point. So there you have it. There's um, our first speech bubble, and you can adjust this any way that you want to, do, want to adjust it. We can also make it so that it's more um, rounded. So if you select the anchor point with your direct selection tool, there is a convert setting up here where we can convert it to a smooth um, point. So you'll see if it's converted to a smooth point, you can create more of a different shape of a speech bubble. But for this one, I like the pointed version. Um, something that I might do is I might stretch this out more and then move my anchor points in a little bit more. Um, maybe I'll re -go, go back and delete those and add them somewhere else. So the second one that we're going to do is we're going to do more of a rounded rectangle. Um, so what we want to do is create a new layer. Let's call it rounded R speech. And we're going to use the rectangle shape again. So select your rectangle tool and draw it out however, however far you want it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull on these little plus signs that are in here. And this is going to round our shape. So if we pull in, the rounder the shape will get. So I like that one, so we'll leave this how it is. The second piece is we're going to create another rectangle, a smaller rectangle below this. In this rectangle, we're going to use as the little tail of this speech bubble. So what we need to do is we need to go to the anchor point tool again, but we want the delete anchor point tool. We want to select one of the outsides of this, and then we want to position this so that it looks like it's a speech bubble piece coming out. So if I put this right about here, um, let's try this out and see what this looks like. So I'm going to select to this um, what was a rectangle here and then our rounded rectangle together. So shift, hold down and click on both of those. And you want to go to window and make sure that your pathfinder is up on the board. And then for shape mode, you want to select the first one, which is unite and that should unite those together. So there you have it. Uh, this is just a second way to create a speech bubble. You can go ahead and play around with the brushes on here and change what it looks like and save these. Um, I'll be sure to share some examples with you guys that you can download too. Thanks.